In this video, we will be showing you the welding of electrofusion pipe coupling. The tools you will need are an orbital pipe cutter, a tape measure, gloves, a chinograph pencil, a pipe scraper, protection glasses, and a gravity drainage welding machine. First, measure and mark the pipe to the desired length. Then cut to length before cleaning up any swarf. Take the pipe scraper and scrape back 40 millimeters around the edge of both pipes. This is to deoxidize the surface and improve the weld performance. Then remove any swarf. Push pipe to internal stop of the coupling. To remove the stoppers, you will have to do so by shearing them out with pipe if a slip coupling is required. Mark depth in case the joints move before welding. It is important that the pipe is all the way to the stops to cover the internal heating elements, otherwise they can be compromised. Connect the right leads to the size of coupling depending on the leads being used. Yellow leads from 32mm up to 160mm. Blue leads from 200mm up to 315mm. Plug the power cable into the 110 volt power supply. Locate the plug into the socket using the keyway. Make sure you know the right color leads you will need. Here we are using up to 160 millimeters, so we are using yellow leads. Plug terminals into the coupling and make sure they are fully pressed in. The machine will recognize the leads and the welding parameters. Click the start button. The welding process will start. It will go through the LED. Finish at 100% and show the green light which means you have a complete weld. If it goes to error, there is a fault in the process and needs to be checked. Please refer to the handbook for more information. The pips will protrude to show the coupling has finished welding. After this, remove terminals and allow the coupling to cool for at least 15 to 20 minutes.